Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for joining us again today. Got a very short video for you that will show you how to add products on Weebly to your store. Just before I do so, if you haven't tried Weebly before or if you want to give it a go for absolutely free, there's a free trial version down in the description for this video for you as a link. So if you click that link, that'll take you through to a free trial version of Weebly. So I'm going to presume that you've got a website constructed. If you haven't, obviously go to the top right and hit add site. Make sure that you select a store when you're browsing the templates and um, it asks you what type of website that you want to create. Once you've edited that website, it asks, actually prompts you to add an item. However, if you go to the left hand side when you've got your website selected, um, you'll see that the item sub menu is here. So if you go to the site items, that kind of, you know, displays everything that you've got in there and allows you to manage, you know, the items in your website. Um, as you can see, it's taking a minute to load. I've got nothing in there at the moment. They would appear here and you can just go there to create a new item. So here it gives you the ability to kind of select, you know, what category that exists in. Um, you know, obviously you, you can sort of see there it's pretty self-explanatory and you can give it a title a price and then a sale price and that will work out your profits for you then and um a description that you can format with the basic kind of word processing features there whether to make it visible or not straight away uh, fulfillment how that's going to happen any additional information especially like a code for you to keep track of um the, you know the different options for it associated with that and then the, the different sort of search engine optimization that you can sort of apply to that item and then the uh, images will go on in the top right there once you've completed all of the necessary fields what you'll need to do then is you know either save and view or just hit save to create that item and that will appear by default then on your store as an item that's kind of formatted ready for your website's formatting if that makes sense you know so and that's it. That concludes the video tutorial. So again, it's on your store website under the items menu, under site items, and then create a new item right there. And if you've enjoyed the video and you want to see more content of this nature, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget about that link down in the description below that will take you through to a free trial version of Weebly. So give that a click and you can give it a go. And, um, you know, if you've got any questions or if you've got any comments or anything like that, you can also leave them down below as well. Thank you very much.